Hi, this is Bill Westerbeek and welcome to the January report for Elder Tip Zone. Today we're going to talk about how to get a COVID-19 vaccination. And we're also going to talk about the Michigan COVID-19 Alert app. Now just as a side note, we're not going to talk about the new numbers yet for tax and for Medicaid. So vaccines. First, let's talk about the process of how to get the vaccine. Find your vaccination priority first. These are broadly broken into four phases, 1A, 1B, 1C, and 2. 1A is subdivided into three priorities, which have subgroupings. 1B has three subgroups, 1C has two subgroups, and phase 2 covers the balance. Here are the details. Once you know your priority, check on the timing. Phase 1A is fully engaged at this point. However, not all groups in Phase 1B are up to the plate yet. While the first part of Phase 1C, those over age 65, have been allowed to start. And as you can see from this chart, the timing is intentional, even though it's a little bit confusing. Finally, register with your vaccine provider which could be a hospital, including a collaboration of hospitals like in Grand Rapids, a pharmacy, or a senior center to name a few. Here are some examples and we'll provide those links in the comments. And next let's talk about the COVID-19 Alert app. Now the idea behind this app is that when you get COVID-19, when you test positive, you would report it to the app. And the app will then notify other users that they could have been in contact with you and that they may have exposure. Once you download the app, the first tab on the bottom lets you know if you have been exposed to someone who reported a COVID-19 positive test result to the app. The second tab is where you notify the app of a positive test result, but you need to get a PIN from your health department first so they can cut down on false results. You can get questions answered on the third tab and share the app on the fourth tab and the fifth tab includes some stats which can also be found on the website. Now, whether this app is an effective tool will really depend on how many people use it. And certainly as more people get vaccinated, perhaps they won't feel the need to use it. But we just wanted to report to you that this app is there and can be helpful to you. No one guessed the right answer last month, so we move on to this month's contest. Guess the number of marshmallows, one guess per person, and the first correct guess wins a $25 Amazon gift certificate. So good luck. And that is it for the January report. We'll see you in February.